What's going on, Video Game Voter Vanguard? This is your boy, the Video Game Voter, here with another episode. So, as you can see right here, it's finally here. It finally arrived. I'm super, super excited. I was so excited to finally get this and pick it up. The NBA Jam Arcade One Up, and it is just an absolute beauty. I decided to place it underneath my little Kobe tribute with all his covers. Made sense. NBA, one of the greatest NBA players with the NBA Jam cab. So, Let's just take a look at the cab in general. Absolute beauty. NBA artwork on the side there. Just beautiful. NBA Jam, NBA Jam Tournament Edition and Hang Time. NBA Jam on the riser. And the side looks exactly like the other side. And I just, again, I decided to put it over there. Cause it makes sense and plus it's another cab i got my eye on instead of putting it over here with the other cab so let's fire this up now i want to point out right away that these are the new style buttons so it's like slider so you basically hold the button over to uh turn it on as well as the slider volume button same startup screen now this one, there's two different models. There's a $400 price point and there's $500 price point. The $400 price point is the one I went with. It includes light up marquee and it includes the riser. Now the only difference between this one and the $500 price point, it's a light up control pad on the $500 one and it also includes the NBA Jam stool, which in hindsight, I'm kind of thinking I should have got, but all in all, it's cool. I'll get some uh, stools down here soon enough. Now, I'm thoroughly impressed with the build. RK One Up has steadily made everything better and listening to their fans and stuff like that. They just did an awesome job just paying attention to their fans, down to the interface, just everything that the fans are looking for. And this is the main startup screen. You got your settings, you can see your Wi Fi signal. This is Wi Fi uh, included. You can play the games online. If you look to the right right here, these are records of some of the best players in each game. Each game you go to is going to show that menu with the winning streaks and stuff like that. And down here to also show you the available games, the last time I've seen, and how many free spots. Obviously, four players, you can play up to four players online. So this is NBA Jam. This is NBA Jam Tournament Edition. As you see it reloaded, you see your boy is 2-0. Then it's got a couple of little games and my favorite out of the three and be hang time. You can see that as well. You can adjust your settings. You can have it set up where anybody could just jump in your match or you set it where they ask permission. And let's just look at the control deck here. It's got four back tops, three buttons each, one start button for each player. Then you got the live button and that's how you go live or access the online activity and things like that so let me just show you all that you can hear that it says boom shagalaga so this is the way you um set up your sentence as you see it shows availability who can join or who can auto join you can post your high scores favorites block lists recently your network and account settings things of that nature um so that's awesome and that's how you access uh basically it'll pop across the screen if you want to join and um, this one also comes equipped now that they're, they've started doing this with the uh, newer RK one up cabs. There are two speakers. I don't know if y'all can see that grill up there. That's one and that's two. Well, let me just turn this up and back up a little bit. Well, as y'all can see, that's pretty loud. So let's check out some gameplay of each. All right, we'll try to catch some gameplay footage as best as I can. We'll start with the original NBA Jam. Game that got it started. Um, this was a absolute day one buy for me. Um, it wasn't. It was like a no-brainer for me. And this game, and the reason why this game is just absolutely just kind of captures my childhood and arcade gaming for me. Just going, you know. When I did go, it wasn't very often as a kid, um, but there was a mall that I used to go to where they used to have um, an arcade in it. Uh, Herondale Mall was located in Glen Burnie, Maryland. 
they would have that there. Uh, we also had a corner store in the neighborhood that sometimes had NBA Jam in it. And like I said, very rarely I would get a chance to play it. And it, like I said, it just kind of, it's like capturing my childhood in a bottle, honestly, especially when it comes to arcade games. This, among the couple others, uh, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, of course. And this is the arcade port. It's definitely not a console port. Um, that may seem like an obvious thing to anybody, but believe it or not, you never know sometimes. Especially with uh, licensing and things of that nature. Steel baby, three ball. Yeah, I have literally, since picking this up, I've been I played multiple games on here every single day. I love, love, love this cab so much and just having an absolute blast with it. And it has all the same features. Um, funny story, the guy who does the voiceovers for this one, I actually met him at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Uh, it was funny because um, he was there and at night I went to dinner with Steve Wright and uh, Radical Reggie and uh, some of their friends and they were kind of talking about when they met him. So let's go to the next game which will be Tournament Edition. I want to show y'all how you can back out. If you hit the live button, which was that button I showed you was in the center, it brings up this. Back in the main menu, let's check out NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Same similar menu. Uh, I believe this one has more players, a uh, little bit updated roster, a little bit better graphics. I don't know how much time went by before both uh, versions were released. You hear the buttons are very clicky, very uh, arcade style. Got the Admiral Dave Robinson. Like I said, the graph is a little bit better on this one. He blocked it. There you go. Let's go down with the dunk. And this is, um, you know, it's not like your typical sports title or your typical basketball, simulation style basketball. This is an over-the-top arcade version, I'm sure. Everybody has played NBA Jam, and this is a game that anybody can literally pick up and play. It is an absolute classic. Nothing difficult, just all out, you know, typical, your basics of basketball, but over the top with the fun. And with the antics, the voice, and the insane high-flying dunks. Everything you've known to expect from a midway arcade game that's a big dunk as you can see video game for is doing what he does best oh wow see i'm doing my thing there all right guys so we are going to now check out the final game on this cab which is nba hang time right after i throw down this dunk and it's not a dunk and I'm on fire. So there we go. Let's get to hang time. All right, guys, we are now firing up NBA hang time. And like I said, this is my favorite out of the three. A lot of things on here was updated, like they included a spin move on this version. Um, they, as you can see, uh, it keeps track of your records when you enter in your IDs and stuff like that. I'm not gonna do that on this one. We will run with the Bulls. I can't say that I have a favorite on here. If I do, I, I really d wouldn't know who it would be. And they also integrated this. Tap the buttons to make the player jump higher. Like I said, it's updated graphics, um, updated roster. This is the newest out of the three. They included the spin move, better graphics, better gameplay. They just added a lot more to this game and make it a little bit more fun. And that's not to take any away from the original NBA Jam or the Tournament Edition. I literally could play any of them. There's a spin move that I was talking about. And I, 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 I think it's a general consensus that people 
may like this one better just because of the updated graphics and rosters and stuff like that that makes you know kind of brings things a little bit closer to the current state not that much because most of the people in here if not all are all retired or not playing in the nba anymore that pippin baby the super dunk and one of the things i also like is like with the record keeping kind of like in a real arcade you keep record and then like i'm i'm currently trying to go through and defeat each team each nba team they'll call you i guess a master player and it keeps the record i do enjoy that you know so people come over if we have great head-to-head -head matches or high statistics it saves it to the game like i just like i said i just love it this one is also one of the very few four-player arcade one-ups available and i gotta say in my personal opinion this is my favorite one and it appears to be the best one rk one up has consistently stepped up the build quality of each cab that they have released so let me get you guys to my conclusion all right guys so that was my review of the nba jam rk one up four player machine my favorite rk one up to date just like i said the build quality even now from the sliders how they made the volume they've included the two speakers the light up marquee nba um not nba jam but rk one up has consistently stepped up their game which each cab build they've been listening to the fans and what they want and i love it especially the fact that you can actually play this game online that absolutely brings this to another level and i feel like it's totally worth the 400 dollar price point or the 500 dollar price point whichever you choose and include the stool which i would recommend especially somebody like me that's was putting in so much time playing this game so let me know down in the comments section did you pick up the nba jam rk one up cab and after watching this review do you feel like you would pick this up my favorite rk one up cabinet recipes to a black mama kobe bryant it's your boy the video game voter signing off Thank you for watching. Follow me on all social media platforms at Video Game Votary.